Um, good afternoon, good afternoon, everyone. In this section, I do like to talk about positive metrics factorization PMF model. It is um, widely used in many previous studies to identify the source contribution and profile. Therefore, I will tell you some checkpoints to get rid of the worst case. Um, there are various types of receptor methods, and there, as a statistical analysis, there is a PMF model, and also you can see chemical mass balance, CMB model, and principal component analysis that are probably familiar with you, I guess. As you already know that the differences between uh, CMB and PMF, if, if you have a uh, uh, known uh, emission profile, you can use CMB model. CMB model. On the other hand, uh, if you have only monitoring data and then you want to estimate uh, source profile, you can use PMF model. And um, other perspective, um, PS PCA only provides uh, uh, provides both uh, pos pos positive and negative values. On the other hand, PMF provides only posi positive positive values of Few weeks ago, I compared the result between PCA and PMF model. It was totally um, different. Uh, therefore, I think uh, many um, researcher model have to be considered based on your data. Uh, I look for a keyword positive metric spectralization in Scopus. The number of uh, literatures is still uh, working on from 1991 to 1918, it shows that we have to, why we have to use the PMF model. In many monitoring studies, our laboratories, we collect air sample using this kind of sample, then and analyze target compounds. Then the we just an announced a concentration level and the profile, and also we identify major sources. For example, hotspots are shown in this study area because of wind direction, and there is some industrial facility nearby sampling sites. That's all. So we uh, need to use receptor model to uh, get high quality uh, high quality data. As I told you, the uh, one of the advantages of PMF is a non-negative constraints, and also you can see some equations. It can be uh, quite computer to understand. However, we have to know, uh, have to understand the concept of equations. These equations consist of a matrix of sample species and factors. And um, the objective of these uh, PMF models is to minimize this Q value. In this in PMF model, there is two types of Q. Uh, Q true, goodness of pit parameter is also um, rota ro ro rotated in PMF model. And the other, as the other part, Q robust calculated excluding points not fit with Q2 is also rotated. And then Q2 tended to get rid of some um, uncertainty and errors like Q robust in the multi-dimensional species. So PMF is called by a multivariate uh, factor analysis tools. In uh, this presentation, EPA PMF version five model was used. Uh, when I uh, when I learned PMF model at first, I really moved over uh, what part is important and what options should I consider. Uh, then um, these researchers. Uh, was, were really helpful for a learning PMP model, especially uh, EPA user guides. I think you have to understand clearly and read carefully this uh, EPA user guide. There are 
a lot of information on uh, how to handle input data and how to interpret the result of PMF. Uh, before running PF model, we uh, have to prepare for input data for concentration and uncertainty. X axis, um, X axis for compounds, uh, Y axis is for, uh, it can be a time series or sampling size. Uh, to, uh, to prepare the input data, in my cases, the concentration detection frequency is lower than 20%, the uh, concentration will exclude. Then uh, if concentration is lower than M mass detection limit MDL, the concentration will replace to half of MDL. Uh, but it only depends on your data. Uh, we can adjust 20 to 30, 40%, and also in this cases you just the uh, concentration get removed. And you can calculate uncertainty from these equations. If the concentration is less than or equal to MDL, uncertainty is calculated by these equations. And then if the concentration is greater than MDL, you can use uh, these equations. In these equations, error fractions means like experiment error, so you can use uh, instead of uh, a recovery uh, standard deviation of five to seven samples, or in other previous study, they just use uh, 0.1 values. And also these equations, you don't need to directly use these equations. In many previous study, they made uh, some equations based on these equations, but EPA uh, recommended these equations, so I use uh, to use this equation to calculate uncertainty. Uh, this is for example of um, input data for concentrations. Uh, red box means uh, the concentration is lower than MDL, so the, the value is replaced, replaced to half of MDL. Then I calculate uncertainty based on this concentration input data. At the first, you can uh, get this screen, uh, then a click, then uh, you can get this screen. Uh, there are three parts that you have to fill in some blank concentration, uncertainty uh, that already made before. And also you can, um, you can control the pathway of output file. After, uh, after filling in uh, blanks, you can get positive uh, signal. Then you can check uh, the input data. Um, uh, as a, a first check, checkpoint, you can check signal to noise ratio. It's consist of uncertainty and concentrations. Uh, EPA uh, suggests the uh, criteria, the range of uh, each category, a bad, weak, strong, and you can change uh, a species category, strong, weak, or bad. Uh, this is uh, main options of uh, PMF model. Uh, there, uh, at the first part, you can change the number of runs and the number of factors. Uh, I will tell you how to uh, select the number of factors. And EPA recommends the number of runs as uh, 100, but you can use 20 times. And as a second, as a second part, uh, you can, from this part, you can get uh, any, you can estimate some errors. Uh, at the final part, you can get the final result of PMF model. Uh, it is also a, check, uh, check, a checkpoint. Uh, you can, after running PMF model, you can get range your analysis results. Uh, EPA uh, suggests the, the range of uh, range between, between uh, minus three to three. If there is a uh, number exceeded the range, the compounds have to be uh, classified as uh, from strong to weak or bad. It means you have to run again PMF model. 
uh, as a second second as a second um, checkpoint, you can identify um, correlation between predicted concentration and observed concentration. Uh, it means from PMF model result. It means from monitoring actually, and uh, if the, the value is uh, quite lower than um, some criteria, you can uh, you can choose the range. It if the low com uh, if the uh, if some compounds are low low has low uh, values, it has to be also classified as weak or bad. Uh, and also, you can get observed and predicted time series. Mm. Uh, this list is a quite good result, but sometimes there is a missing value of predicted concentrations. It means you have to run again PMF model because there is some error. And finally, we can get uh, this kind of figure. Uh, it's between the measured and modeled concentrations. I will, I'm going to use to show the data reliability in the future. Uh, as a final uh, checkpoint, uh, you, after running PMP model, uh, you can uh, focus on the first value. It means error code. If it is zero, there is no error. But if it is not zero, uh, you have to run again PMP model. Uh, and also, at the first line, means swap counts. If there is any swap, it means uh, ambiguity and cohesion are assumed, so you have to learn again PMF model. After uh, getting uh, reliable input data, we can choose the number of factors. So I run PMF model many times from factor two and factor three. All this data is uh, obtained, can be obtained from the PMF results. Uh, if the value is slightly decreased or uh, when an increase at first, you can choose the factors. In this case, I think uh, factor four, five, and six are proper in this study. And also you can uh, get mapping of uh, bootstrap factors. As I told you at the beginning part, there is a, a sort of part of to estimate errors. You can get this data. So I got, I got the data from factor two and factor eight. However, only factor two and factor four has uh, uh, higher uh, than 80 uh, values, uh, EPA required, required, required value. So I choose factor, the number of factor four. After, after that, you can get this kind of uh, result from directly PMF model. And also, in many previous studies, they use just this uh, figure uh, because there, there is uh, options to save as any um, loot. Uh, and then I draw some figure from the before results. Uh, you can see that uh, each factor has a different profile. Then we uh, defined uh, what is the factor one and Factor four. Uh, if you uh, carried out seasonal monitoring, you can get also different uh, results between se seasons. Uh, for example, factor one, um, summer effects were dominant, dominant, and winter effects were dominant in factor four, uh, for example. And also, this is a factor contribution. And uh, also, if you use a passive sampler, you can get from PMF model like this uh, data. Uh, based on only this data, you can define each factor. For example, factor four. Uh, factor four at the factor four, uh, the concentrations were higher at on road sites, so it can be classified as weak effects like this. 
uh, this is that's all my results, and I think uh, if we want to get uh, reliable data from PMF model, and we when we uh, compare profile and define the factor, first you can you can monitor uh, you can uh, collect a sample at uh, for, as a real monitor. If you want to uh, get profile of gas stations, you can. Uh, um, you can uh, uh, samplers can be deployed in gas stations, but there is some limitations that it. Uh, I am not sure it is because uh, even though gas station is, uh, even though we monitor a gas station in the gas stations, um, how, however, the gas station is located nearby industry, the profile can be confused or complex. And also the other effects is as well. Uh, second, you can um, check the EPA speciate profile. Uh, there are a lot of types of gas profile. Uh, for example, in for example, industrial maintained coatings has have a high contribution of uh, xylene, toluene, and uh, butyl acetate. So we can compare between this profile and or what I got the profile. And finally, it is uh, commonly things um, uh, uh, you just uh, compare be, compare with previous study. In the previous study, uh, they uh, classified a vehicle exhaust uh, from this profile. 